This time we're playing against always drawing. A play I've never played against. And let's see. Yes, I want to play first. Good luck, have fun. Let's get rid of the chat and we can keep. Um, we have to find our graveyard. And this is his graveyard. This is ours. Let's see. Let's play. I'm scared of this one. I want to play the devil first and see if we can find a land or just play. We can just play um, brainstorm during our upkeep. He is. I think he will um, kill a diver. Yes, he's got the mountain. And there's the gaver. It's gone. Let's reset. So we play against. Hmm. I think it's red blue. And we heavily depend on. Our. Deers, might be Deers, or Angler, he can remove Angler. Uh, what kind of deck is this? This, uh, this might be the Neutron deck. So, Undo. Let's just draw. And I might want to counter in his turn, or play the Knowledge at the end of his turn. Let's see. Spare bomb. This doesn't hurt a lot. Ah, this might be um, what's it called? Um, trinket mage control. So let's find black mana. Hmm. Let's wait another turn. Wonders, okay. Mm -hmm. I want to play Mantle Note. Thought Scar is good. It, okay, no island. Acumen Island Counter Spell. But still, no black stories. I still pass my turn, even though I've got the Sage. I wanted to change something. I wanted to add another Swamp, add one to the deck, and cut one Sage. Yeah, let's cut one Sage. Get back to Play Lobby. Counter spell this one, even though it's not so very strong, it can find relevant cards. Um, so to speak, you might find uh, what's it called? Um, something to get rid of our graveyard, like relic. Uh, we don't want him to find relic, so it's time for finding black mana. We found something that is. Black mana indeed. And next turn I want to play Angler, but first of all we have to play um Duris to see if the path is clear. Yeah, this is Treasure Cruise time for him. It's not too bad because he has to tap out. Which gives way to the angler. 
and I'm about to mention a note at the end of the turn and in response I want to get out my swamp just because I don't want to lose it I've got a sage another one and let's see what we have we can trash a cruise Ah, uh, this is great. This is a great turn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can angler. Um, we don't need to do this, this turn. But we could. No, we don't want to. Let's buy another land. And do. Um, do we want to sage? I want to angler council. What did I remove? Did I remove a oh, one brainstorm? Is why if I play an angler one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, yeah, let's play. The angler first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And next turn, or at the end of his turn, I play the knowledge which he has to counter. If he doesn't, we will draw three cards, which will be devastating for him. And he wants to get rid of the angler, so he plays. Or uh, maybe he's got another spell bomb, the other spell spell bomb, or, so, or anything like that. Let me see. Two, three, four, five mana. This is enough for a mild drifter. This one is not very problematic. I mean, in the stack, brainstorm is great. Just because you can play trinket mages and um, get rid of lands, so he drew another land. He wanted to have one. Let's see what he plays with it. This is interesting. This is journey, and he wants to get rid of anger. This is okay. We've got masses of anglers in our deck. We just have to draw one. Let's see. The good thing about accumulated knowledge is um, if you play it and we don't find anything interesting uh, and we, we, we find uh, we don't find a brainstorm we can just turn off it expands. Do we want to? Yes, we want to. Just because we want to get down Gramic Angler and play something else, let's see. Counter spell. This is great. So let's attack. And then um, we play this one, okay. And then when it, I want to do is and see if he has any creative relevance. I should have do it before attacking, but I just did what I did and can't do anything to rewind this. Let's see. Prowess. Um, always yield. And let's see what we can make him discard. Let's see. Wild Drifter. Two times. Treasure Cruise. Flame Slash. And Lightning Bolt. Hmm. My drift or treasure cruise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
I can take my Driftery. I don't need to get rid of Flame Sludge. Maybe I need to. Let's get rid of Treasure Cruise and get Flame Sludge or Lightning Bolt next turn. Let's play another Sage and pass the turn. If you play Smart Drifter, I counter it. And see whether he uses his uh, removal spells. He's got spell bomb, and so this is a my drifter. And as I predicted, I want to counter it. Um, it's not too important to have this countered, but he has just one removal spell left. If you counter this one, and that he can play this turn. So I'm more want to play. Um, another Duris to see if I can get rid of. Yeah, we've got two pros. Things always here too. So this is a lot of damage that we can force through. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> another my drifter. I want to. I want him to lose flame slash. And. I play Thought Scourer. So he doesn't use his spell bomb. Strange, but slight bad. Mm. Attack for six. Let's play another Sage and an Angler. So he's got uh, two Mild Drifters, one Lightning Bolt, and the Spell Bomb. And an unknown card. So now it's time to get rid of Angler using the Spell Bomb and the Lightning Bolt. Let's see. Yes, first step taken. And this is a clear two for one. I mean, um, this is more card card quality than his cards are. <laughs> but nevertheless, we got. Oh, he had to use two. Ah. Oh. I found another treasure cruise. This is just, as I always tell everybody in my games, a treasure cruise is just a card way too strong for this format. Um, yeah, this is just to mean. And I've got another backwater. Play the backwater and attack for three. And as I already told, Treasure Cruise is a, yeah, completely ruins the game. This game was under my control until he played Treasure Cruise. Um, this is, in my opinion, a reason to ban this card. Because it decides games that are already decided, like Ancestral Recall or cards like that. So he's got another Mild Drifter. And it's back in, in the game. I'm not sure what I could do about this. So we can attack for 6 and if we could remove my drifter, yes, we could even win. Let me see. 9, it's just 9 damage. Do I want to play for life? No. So, um, 
if he's not able to kill all of our sages, he might lose next turn. So he's got something. Wait, what is it? A counter spell. Yeah, why not? We still have six damage on the table, and yeah, this is not enough. If he draws another my drifter, if he plays one and he doesn't have a removal for cards, it's still his game. So first he plays a ponder to find any removal spell he has and he's got lots and tons of it. Uh, tons of them. Another treasure cruise or is it just oh it's a trinket mage and this will get a, a removal. This will find one. I guess it's a spell bomb or anything like that. Let's see. Ancient Den? Relic. Relic is great. This is great right now. Mm hmm. I can't rely on my knowledge anymore. So I have to find any spell. And if he doesn't have removal, oh, this is too bad that this is a treasure cruise. But since we have so many lands, it could be enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This card is just too good. And he wants to take as much time from the clock as he can do. I play this one on this creature. Put my abilities on the stack. And see what he does. He's got one lightning bolt which is not enough. But he just wants to... Oh, he's got another one. Mental note. And now I'm short on mana. But it's 4 4. And I guess I just won. Nice game.